What's going on there guys? Good evening. It is the Earthmaster here on the live stream with an update video on this uh, November 24th date, 2021, about 6.20 p.m. California time. Latest quake on the globe is going to be a 2.8 earthquake around the uh, Alaska region. That earthquake just striking right now. Swarm of activity off the coast of Oregon, Northern California region, southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone. Uh, kind of heightened some pressure out here along the west coast. Looking at the uh, earthquake map here, you can see a swarm of earthquake activity throughout the, um, uh, just off the coast of Oregon, Northern California region. We're talking about the Blanco Fracture area and the Gorda uh, Plate region. This activity is seen uh, over the last couple days or so. We'll go ahead and bring this back over the last week. You can see quite a few fours kicking off the coast of Oregon out here, including a 4.6 that struck uh, last week. Since then, we've seen uh, pretty pretty much uh, threes and fours kicking off uh, in that area of the uh, Pacific, also down here south. Seen some deeper movement at the southern end of the Cascadia Mega Thrust area, all showing and pointing some, some uh, telltale signs of some pressure out here along the west coast region. Uh, earthquake activity northward does not show up here. As far as the Cascadia goes on the USGS map, nor does it show up on the EMSC side, the European model, uh, to see all the earthquake activity in this region. We have to go through the uh, Canadian uh, seismograph uh, agency here. This here is the last 30 days of activity um, off the coast of Canada. Uh, you got Washington down here, state of Washington and the states. Cascadia subduction zone sits off here just to the, to the uh, west. We'll go ahead and Go ahead and enable the plate boundaries here. Got the uh, subduction zone right here. It kind of stretches up here off the coast of the Pacific Northwest uh, and ends just north here, uh, well north of the uh, Vancouver area. But you can see a swarm of movement here over the last 30 days and over the last week that is not being reported by the USGS nor the EMSC uh, model. The latest quake here, a 3.0 off the coast of uh, Vancouver. Some movement right smack dab on the Cascadia subduction zone as well in the northern part. You can see uh, this earthquake occurring yesterday, a 3.2, and some further movement down south here. Uh, of course, all this activity not being reported by the USGS. A pretty large cluster of quakes here on the uh, uh, Juan de Fuca plate. And as I said, not showing up in this area that we are looking at here on the map. Even if we go back uh, 30 days, um, or we can go seven days, all magnitudes here. And of course, you did nothing, nothing showing up from the USGS here. All pretty quiet uh, according to their book. So I find that kind of odd that they're not reporting the activity, uh, and especially the uh, EMSC not reporting that activity either. But uh, once again, Cascadia on the northern end pretty active, and also to the west over here along the Blanco Fracture area, all showing some seismic activity on the increase uh, over the last 24 hours and the last week. Watching, uh, at least today, seeing a couple earthquakes there, 4.0, kicking off along the Blanco Fracture zone, Juan de Fuca Ridge. If we look at the seven days activity, you can see that cluster kind of amplify a little bit there. But uh, over the last day, we're seeing uh, that movement kick off in that region. Also, the Gorda Escarpment area, seeing a 3.0 well off the coast of or or Northern California, and some deeper movement inland into uh, Northern California uh, with this one here near Eureka, outside of Eureka, 2.5, 21.7 kilometers for a subduction zone quake in that area. Also, uh, if you look at the map here, the western part of the United States, pretty active throughout Northern California southward uh, and still into the Gulf of California area. So if we add all that movement up here on from the uh, Canadian site, uh, kind of looks like uh, you know a hot spot of activity here along the North American Pacific Plate boundary. And that's kind of what's happening here. I just don't know why uh, USGS not reporting that activity. Northern California here, it's seen a little bit of movement uh, along the uh, Mount Lassen area with an earthquake uh, right smack dab almost on the point with the tip. The summit of Mount Lassen, a 1.6, 3.7 kilometers there for that earthquake. A little earthquake activity to the northwest as well. No major swarming, but uh, 
kind of some heightened movement in Northern California. There's all that activity along the eastern crest of the Sierra, down through Ridgecrest, and a line of earthquake activity uh, stretching across the southern end of the San Joaquin Valley. We've got Fresno, Bakersfield area, and stretching over here to the San Andreas Fault, all showing a uh, seismic increase in activity over the last 24 hours. The Garlock Fault structure looks pretty quiet for right now. Uh, a couple of query blasts out there, including this 1.3 right smack dab on that Garlock Fault zone. Southern end of the Cas or the uh, San Andreas Fault looks um, pretty quiet, at least as far as any swarming goes. But the San Jacinto Fault area uh, showing some activity as well with a 1.4 activity just off there uh, in southeast of Marietta. Uh, some movement down in the Gulf of California region as well. This activity late last night, early this morning. A couple fours kicking off there. Uh, but overall activity, I think, still kind of ramping up. Um, I'd say Pacific wide uh, when it comes to the major plate boundary here. The Pacific plate, definitely pretty active over the last 24 hours, folks. Uh, there is a Utah earthquake activity. Um, looks like a little bit of swarming once again around the uh, Cedar, Utah area, right up against the crest of this mountain range here near Sunnyside, Utah. Also to the north here in Idaho and Montana, all seen some seismic activity kick up. Um, Pecos, Texas area looking pretty quiet for uh, the most part, just a couple earthquakes in that region of Texas, but uh, Oklahoma lighten up pretty significantly around the Quinton area and also around Stillwater, uh, where there's a little bit of activity here over the last hour uh, near Perry, Oklahoma. Let's go ahead and check this out on the satellite map here and uh, see if there's, we got any fracking pumping operations out there. I'm sure we do. Um, there's one right up here couple of them just not as um, not as intense as we've as we could see far as the pumping operation goes on the maps talking about fracking operations and whatnot uh, a lot of these things put weak crestal um, conditions uh, on the earth about five six kilometers or so down these are 2.3 uh, and 2.1 kilometers for the depth there but uh, nonetheless some activity kicking up here in the uh, Oklahoma area. Uh, Kansas looks pretty quiet. Areas northward as well. To the east, a little earthquake activity near the New Madrid area, right smack dab on it, near New Madrid, Missouri. 1.8 at 6.9 kilometers. And uh, some activity over here around the North Carolina region as well, with a little swarm outside of, uh, let's see what we got here, Clemens, Louisville. Uh, 2.3 is the largest in this little cluster of quakes in the North Carolina area, shaking things up out there along the eastern part of the country. Uh, to the south, Puerto Rico looking a little diminishing in earthquake activity tonight. Not a whole lot of movement along the Puerto Rico Trench at the moment. Just some earthquake activity along the southwest region. And South America seeing a swarm of activity. Some deep movement into the Peru-Chile Trench here with three 4.6s, all the same magnitude, but all different depths there, 180 kilometers for uh, one of those, far as the uh, um, the distance there down into the surface of the earth, into the into the Peru Chile Trench, watching that area pretty closely here. Down south here, a little bit closer to the uh, subduction zone region, some more shallow earthquakes uh, off the coast of Chile, uh, 4.3 and a 4.2 in that region of the world. Hawaii seeing some activity, southeast flank, also along the northern parts around Kilauea and areas north of Mauna Loa, all seeing some heightened earthquake activity. Uh, Mauna Loa, Mauna Kea area getting in on some oddball earthquake activity on the northern part of the island. Uh, what else we got here towards the northwest around Japan? Quite a few fours kicking off there as well. 4.9s, 4.9 I should say into the Japan Trench from the Taiwan area looking at some activity as well uh, with a 5.2 the largest quake in that uh, little cluster out there it's pretty deep movement here uh, near Japan 4.3 254 kilometers for that earthquake pretty deep movement and of course down south here still seeing some shallow earthquake activity a swarm of shallow earthquake activity all this kicked off last night early this morning uh, with quite a few fives kicking off. I thought for sure we'd see something much larger 
with that uh, with a bunch of four shocks like that but so far things looking uh, at a standstill for the moment but uh, I think things are starting to get uh, should be getting interesting here really soon folks I mean there's just way too much movement along the Cascadia and off the coast of uh, Northern Cal and inland uh, and this is especially around the uh, the uh, central part of the uh, country right around that area where the uh, old North American Craton area is kind of an area that really doesn't see too much earthquake activity that's kind of why you can always you can almost see a line of a line around this region right here uh, I'm not going to go into that too much but um, definitely getting some movement in that uh, area over the last couple days here uh, of course Cascadia subduction zone I do want to cover that here real quick uh, is a uh, where that one article go here? Let's see if I can bring that up. Cause I swore I had it. That's all right. This here, this here will work. Um, let me see if I can bring up this map a little bit. Here's Portland, Seattle, Washington, uh, ETS zone where the tremor activity occurs inland, right? But this is not at the surface. This is about 25, 35 kilometers down dip, down dip downstream here, uh, where the subduction zone begins. Of course, the Juan de Fuca plate getting melted and shredded as it dips below the North American plates, creating volcanoes there at the surface, right, along the Cascades here in Nevada. Um, all um, volcanic related due to that type of uh, um, interaction there with the plates. So the subduction zone sits well, well off the coast, Oregon, Washington region, Vancouver area, and ends northward, just northwest of the uh, um, Vancouver Island area. It's just kind of a cut down of the uh, Cascadia subduction zone. Major seismic hazard out here, folks. And of course, I live out here in Northern California. Uh, no doubt I would be affected if that thing decides to go. Um, just kind of, you know, kind of painting a little picture out here of all the activity buildup along the West Coast and areas northward that the USGS is not showing out there. Just there's a lot. Uh, the trimmer activity tonight is pretty quiet. Um, yesterday we only seen what do we see here just a small amount six epicenters in the northern California um, and it's pretty quiet folks it's very quiet here in the trimmer and I'm guessing that uh, we reach a pretty much a standstill you know kind of like a um, could be reaching a breaking point when it comes to the trimmer activity at the moment uh, so we'll see if this thing picks up or not I uh, I'm just kind of watching it kind of got my uh, eye on the Cascadia for sure uh, with all the activity we've been seeing off the coast of uh, uh, the west coast there. Um, far as, let's see what else we got here. Trimmer's good. Yellowstone, not a whole lot of movement on here either. Uh, no major swarming, no magma intrusion. Everything looks pretty, uh, pretty typical there at uh, Yellowstone National Park. Solar weather activity remains uh, very minimal at the moment as well. No major solar flare threat and no uh, major storms headed towards Earth. Everything looks pretty green. Sunspot activity, just uh, only a couple small specks on the sun. This is nothing to uh, even talk about here. Looking pretty quiet. We'll see if this thing kicks back up here in the coming days. I'll just have to see, right? All right, guys. Um, hope everyone has a great day. I will be will be back tomorrow. Um, I know it is Thanksgiving, and uh, for those that do celebrate, I wish everyone out there a happy Thanksgiving. We will be back out here with an update video tomorrow, unless something else changes here. Um, on the live stream here, I do have a station there at the northern end of uh, well, the southern end of the of the um, um, Cascadia subduction zone kind of around the Eureka Petrolia area station I monitor quite a bit and it has been picking up the earthquake activity off the coast of Northern California and um, and the and the uh, uh, shallower quakes around the Northern California area that's going to be the Petrolia station this here is down in San Diego uh, just northeast of San Diego but Petrolia is the one in Northern California that I kind of monitor there for uh, localized earthquake activity for me and uh, also the Cascadia subduction zone. So uh, that thing last night was kind of active there with some of the earthquakes coming into the region. All right, guys, have a good night. Stay safe out there. Uh, we will chat you guys a little bit later. Peace out, everyone.